Praise the Lord. Can you just wave and greet me on the air? Glory, glory, glory to God. But for now, take your Bibles as we do the, this reading from the book of uh, Acts of Apostle. Acts of Apostle. Um, chapter 2, verse 41 to 47. Acts of Apostle, chapter 41 to 47. Okay, thank you. I can see we are there. Uh, let me commence reading by the grace of the Lord. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe, and many wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common, selling their possessions and goods they gave to anyone as he had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who are being saved. May the Lord bless his word. Um, I want us to pray and then we get into business. Heavenly Father, we are just transiting from dedicating our children to you. I continue to pray that uh, the offering that we have just given who speak on behalf of our children, who speak, who become a memorial before you, and twist, make a turnaround for our children, who are having some challenges, have a turnaround for good and for better life for them. Thank you, Father, because you are hearing. Now speak to us because we are listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This day... I'm just introducing a series of messages that is going to take some time. But uh, I am in the interest of sharing with you marks of the growing and blessed church. Marks of the growing and blessed church from the text that we have just shared. Uh, I want in the theme of the day, I want to want to challenge you and myself that time has come for ASU Moja and even the globe that uh, we need and we should know the marks of the growing and blessed church. You know, after we have continued preaching, preaching many years, preaching, preaching, we forget. And some of the basic things about the church must be repeated into our ears. This reminds me about words of a, a pilot, a friend of mine who is a pilot, who told me every time they have to raise, you know, and go and take the aeroplane and, uh, you know, the aircraft and take it to the air, there are rules that they must read again and again. They read them, and sometimes he told me there are so many. They move all the way from number one all the way to a thousand. But I'm telling you, before the craft leaves the ground, they take time going through them. Uh, we say it in English, they peruse, making sure that everything is in order. Everything is in order. Everything is in order. And the last is communicating to the signal whereby the people are, are waiting. The security the fire extinguishers wako huko wale wanafanya hiyo kazi ya kuzima moto ikiwa ndege itawaka and then uh, uh, they tell them now we are just about to get moving are you set they say they are set is the air clear air is clear and then when they are given the night line clear now they can move I want to say I've been feeling a burden that we need to go to the basic as a church and know exactly what the church stands for let me just remind you this morning that after Jesus died on cross, was buried and resurrected, the church was planted and born in the book of Acts of Apostle. 
Now, this happened in a crusade whereby Peter was the evangelist. He was preaching and he preached the word of the Lord. You can remember in the beginning of that book of Acts of Apostle, these guys were in a house. They were praying and as they were praying, they are busted. You know, a kind of a, a sound, a voice which was very uh, strong. And, uh, you know, things stood on their heads like uh, the dove. And uh, they, they, that was the spirit of God. And they spoke with the tongues that the people outside could hear them speaking with their original, their, you know, uh, tribal language. They could hear it clearly. Because God wanted the gospel. He wanted the church to move and get planted. Now, I want to tell you that um, after that was said and done is when Peter got into preaching and he preached the gospel, I'm telling you, he preached the message and at the end of the message, by the push of the Holy Ghost, he made an altar call. And the Bible tells me over 3,000 people gave their lives to Jesus. Hallelujah. And when they gave their lives to Jesus, I just want to make it very clear to you that the people who are listening to the message were not members of Jerusalem. They were not the people who belonged to the place where the message was being declared. Many people had come to Jerusalem because they were businessmen and lady. Guys from Turkey were there. Guys from Oman were there. Guys from India were there. Guys from Africa were there. And they got the message. And after hearing the message, they left. But the few guys who remained, they started uh, organizing and putting the church together. That's when we see the Bible saying, then the believers started gathering together on fellowships. Meetings were very strong. The apostles were in charge of the church that time. And uh, when they were there going on, I want to declare to you that uh, the church holistically picked up. Pick this from me. We have three levels of church. Ukisikia kanisa, kuna haya mambo matatu nafaa kujua. There is the universal church. There is the assemblies, which is a congregation like the ones we have. And there is the family. Let me just explain a little bit on the universal the universal, I'm talking of the global church. The church in Parousia. The spiritual church. I'm talking of the Christian religion. I'm talking of the denominations. And when I'm talking of the assembly, I'm talking of the congregations. Now, the church. The smallest unit of the church is the one which was here. Leo he. Yondio unit ndogo la kanisa. The father is the bishop. The mother is the pastor. The children when they grow up are the evangelist. So the home is a complete church if well taken care. Now as I, I promised you that we are not, not going to take long. I want to go now straight to my points. And I want to say my, the marks of this church. Tunasema kwamba kwa kiswahili. Kuna punda wakawaida na kuna punda melea. Punda melea anaitwa punda melea kwa sababu ya ile melea iko mwilini mwake. We call a zebra zebra because of the lines that the zebra has. In the previous service, I said uh, there is this question that is very difficult. Watu anajaribu kuanza na wajui. Uh, that uh, zebra kweli akona mistari. The question is, ni mistari nyeusi ama ni nyeupe? Sasa hapo ndiyo kuna kisunguru mkuti. This is what we are talking about. Ndiyo ni kusaidia ufikirie. Maybe the zebra you see was a black color na akawekwa za white. Maybe it was white, akawekwa za. Sasa sijui laini zile ni gani. That's, a, that's a, a food for thought for you. Now, how do you describe the church? Ni milia aina gani ambayo inaweza kueleza hii ni kanisa? Ukiona punda milia ana milia 
na ana rangi nyingine utamuita punda milia hata kwa sababu milia ndio identity yake now leo naongea juu ya kile ufanya kanisa iitwe kanisa na jambo la kwanza first number one. Uh, you know some of the 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 marks hizo alama i try to explain a little bit about alama in the previous service but this time i know i might not have that time but let me just mention this alama marks uh, i have been seeing watoto wanapenda sana kuja karibu na mimi wanakuja ninawashika tunakuwa pamoja nao and i was wondering why are children so attracted to me What's the funny thing so they kept on coming i learned the secret wakati mmoja wao aliniambia nataka kushika hii kitu iko hapa kwangu kwa poa because i have a mark here now na hii ni kanyonyo ya pastor ama ni nini but uh, you know it is a mark tunaelewana that is now the mark the mark of church ziko nyingi ziko nyingi number one, ni kama ile tulisema ya salvation many people gave their lives to jesus that was an introduction to church but i want to talk about now the congregation wale walikuwa wanakutana vile huwa tunakutana ni nini inatufanya tunaitwa kanisa number one, devotion to god's word devotion to god's word so god's word becomes the mark ukiona watu wanakongamana kama sisi na wasomi neno la bwana the word is not being preached people are not taking serious the word of god kuna question mark and that's what has happened in some of the churches zile zimesumbua watu hapa Kenya Tanzania na SM zingine i don't know whether you land kulitokea shakaola ingine Tanzania watu wanafanya tu exactly like that wanachimbia watu na they are already sorting that So instead of releasing the word of life the word of life they release the word of death watu wanauawa watu wanakufa watu wanafukiwa katika makabori so the first church in the verse 41 those who accepted this his message were baptized and about 3000 were added to their number that day verse 42 They devoted themselves to the apostles teaching that's the word of God and to the fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer so these people were actually involved in reading the word of God in preaching the word of God if they were not reading and preaching they were listening to the word of God if they were not reading preaching and you know listen to the word of God they were discussing it if they were not discussing the word of the Lord they were obeying the word of the Lord if they were not doing all those other things they were practicing the word of the Lord can you clap for Jesus This is what is going to make a difference in this AIC umoja. Hata mimi sijui watu wanapatanga nafasi wapi ya masengenyo na vitu zingine. The word of the Lord is enough. Yesterday I was so encouraged when uh, uh, you know we were in the reception of uh, Pastor Timothy Kavila and uh, he introduced a team ambao walishikana na kazi yao ni kusoma neno la Bwana. So every year they make sure that they read from Genesis to Revelation. Another year uh, Genesis to Revelation. And let me tell you, the moment you start reading the word of the Lord and understanding it, ndio utajua kitu tamu bali inaishi. Unaisoma kwa kikamba, unaisoma from cover to cover in kikamba this year. Another year unasoma kutoka kwa uh, Kiswahili mpaka you know you get to uh, ufunuo. The other year you take unasema sasa mimi nataka nisome na NIV version, unasoma na King James version, unasema soma na Living Bible version. I tell you we can read and read and understand the word of the Lord. This is what is going to make a difference between us and the churches that are not real churches number two, devotion in believers fellowship washirika walikuwa wanashikana they were having fellowship warm fellowship together i mean they were meeting together as we have just read from verse 42 you can give me verse 46 and 47 46 and 47 uh, all the way to 47 uh, Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts they broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts 47 praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people and the Lord added to their number daily to those who were being saved shikilia hiyo mstari this verse 
is power to reckon with. The Bible is telling us because of their daily meeting, daily meeting in the presence of the Lord, daily meeting in the presence of the Lord, praising the Lord. One thing we see that uh, they started enjoying the favor of God and the favor from people. Watu walianza kuwakubali. Watu walianza kuwapenda. No wonder the Bible is telling us Mungu naye aliendelea kuwaongezea siku baada ya siku. Hey, did you mark that? Not every Sunday. Siku baada ya siku. And that's why I'm saying the moment we start anchoring in the fellowship of believers is if it is itajaa watu is if it is itajaa watu because we will be stretching out with the word of the Lord to reach people with that warm fellowship that comes from you know knowing Jesus Christ We are also seeing the fellowship extended to holy communion We are seeing the, the fellowship extended into breaking of bread in that Holy Communion. And it was wonderful. The third and the last beacon. Devotion in each other's welfare. Now there's difference between the fellowship just being together, praying, discussing the word of God, Bible study. And uh, now getting into reaching out to the welfare of each other. So they were reaching to the needs of each other passionately. They were reaching to the needs of the others out of love, out of care, out of sincere art, designing for other members' needs. And the Lord really blessed them. The, you know, the members, because of uh, an discernment, they offered solutions to the needs of the members' E.G., we have just heard that they were selling their possession. Mutu anauza ilia reach a need of another person, a member in the work of the Lord. And they were really blessed. May the Lord touch us as a church that we will be true to this. We will be true and nobody is going to be in one, in need, in our circles. In the interest of time, I just want to challenge you. Where do you stand when it comes to the word of the Lord? Wewe ushawahi kusoma Biblia kutoka cover mpaka cover. Wewe how many verses can you memorize? Saa hii useme huu mstari nitausema kutoka kwa kichwa yangu. Wewe how many people are you sharing with with the name of the Lord? How many people are you reaching out with whatever the Lord has blessed you with? May the Lord touch your heart today that when the church of God is being spoken, the true church of God, you will be counted. I will be counted and the name of the Lord will be praised. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, it is paining when we see people running away from the true church. You started, you planted, and grew a, a real, real church that touched the world. Yes, people outside the, uh, you know, environment of the church, the neighboring of the church, the Bible is telling us, that they could uh, favor the people in the church because these people were of help. They were reaching out. May you help us, Lord, that we will reach out. Take over, Father. And as we continue with this service, may we never be the same again for your honor and glory. We pray that, Lord, the spirit of the first church is going to enter into AIC Umoja. It's going to enter into the church in Nairobi. It's going to enter in the church in Kenya and in the globe. And soon, we will be shaking the world with the well-being and goodwill of, uh, will that comes from your word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, and we will say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Can you clap and appreciate Jesus?